All right, all right, all right, guys. It is time for the third and final game of this week's iCast, your freaking awesome replays. It is the recycling challenge where players had to try and be as efficient as possible. Recycling that harassment time and again, and uh, just in general, looking at be as uh, anti-single use as possible. You know, getting that renewability going. Up here in the top right-hand side, in the red, this is a bit of a higher level game after a few, a few lower level ones. In the red, representing NWAS, it's Search. Down here in the bottom left hand side, in the blue, it is Red John. I mean, I know a John is, a, is like a generic name for a man who goes to see a uh, lady of the night, right? Is Red John a specific thing? Is that is that is that a name from something? Is that anything to do with that? Is that like a cartoon character? It, Red, it like vaguely rings some bell in my head. What is? If anyone knows anything about that, let me know. People in chat are saying Red Johnson. Oh, you mean like a red rocket? Like like a dog boner? Ugh. I hope not. I'm not sure how you would play like a horny dog, but as a Protoss player, I guess that just means involving attacking all game long. We'll see exactly what does come in store. Um, yeah. The uh, various assaults. Quick Nexus comes down. So Nexus before Cybercore. Search is going to come in and see that. He's like, oh, okay. SCBs are under fire. All normal. Probe not really going to be able to delay the CC at all. So SCV says, taste my drill. The probe says, no thank you. I'm out of there. That SCV should probably turn around at some point. It's chasing a little bit too far. Reaper is on the way. Second pylon at the front after that second gas goes down. So real standard openings on both sides. Nothing crazy here. Which is really refreshing you know I, I go from casting ept yesterday casting solar against parting in the finals come into icy far and seeing people build like three depots on the high ground into a bunker in a command center and then like the slowest proxy of all time always it always hurts me a little bit but i think it's just also because i'm just in, a, in the mood for shitting on the players mistakes today to be honest um <laughs> i just feel like being a dick i guess oh well that probe had about as many opportunities to get away as you could. Oh, one probe gonna go down. Reaper does get revenge. So one worker going down. Oh, actually, sorry. They were both killed by the Terran, weren't they? Um, maybe getting a little bit fancy there, Search. <laughs> they changed directions. He was like, oh, I'm gonna juke you. I'm like, I don't think that was necessary. I think you could have just walked away, you know? But uh, this is like that parkour kid with the security more cops or whatever chasing him wants to wants to get away in the fanciest way possible while his other friends are recording so they can put it on youtube there are hellions on the way the bunker should be up with a marine in it in the near future behind this twilight council so uh and it's going to be a sentry as well interestingly so two stalkers into a sentry that sentry will give a hallucination scout oh it's a yolo stalker guys <laughs> the scv runs is like no thank you I can't help but think this is like, um, oh, what was the name of the, the guy in like Bad Santa? Willy, right? Oh, no, oh, Willy. Last time I was with you, I couldn't shit right for a month. Um, that was a special movie, wasn't it? Just the stalker looked a bit, bit of a seedy guy, that's all. Anyways, Widow Mines on the way, Metamax, Small Marines, uh, Blink is starting up there as well. So far, it seems like it's a pretty standard game. No one, no one's been hyper efficient or anything like that. Obviously, the Terran started well, but but was a very quick third. And interesting, the triangular third here for the Protoss. Interesting. The Hellion comes down. At, yeah, this is kind of good just for giving out misinformation. I guess the opponent's not going to know about it. Hallucination will come across to scout. Double Widow Mind drop heading forward. Second and third barracks on the way here. Straight on into those tech labs. This hallucination should see just about everything. Red John comes in, is like, okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, yeah. Um, cool. That was a good bit of fun. Let's do it. Stalker sentries, Robo there. Three pylons finishing up. Mmm, good pylon positioning. I think Red John should see this. Oh, that pylon finishes just in time. Lovely vision. Does he rotate, though? Oh, it doesn't help if you're not watching, mate. 
Oh, Red John not paying attention, getting distracted by a single Hellion. The Hellion's waving a red flag. Hey, look over here, dickhead. Look over here. Look over here. Uh-oh. Search with a clean opening here so far. Now, unfortunately, this guy's only going to take out a single probe. That one doesn't kill shit. And, oh, no, the medevac blink's almost done. And, oh, Widowmine goes down, and that medevac's going to fall as well. Runs out of the NOS, gets blasted. It was, it was a clean opening, just got a bit too horny with the Widow Mine drop. Should have just kept the Widow Mine back here, done a burrow, unburrow, picked up, and then pulled back to the dead space. He did what I did. I, I always do the same thing where I go for too much with my Widow Mine drop and uh, end up punished for it. So at this point, there's no tanks or anything, but there's so many Marines, and now with Marauders, Stim, Shields, you've got plus one on the way. You're in a pretty good position. There's a small window for Blink Stalker pressure to find some damage, but... Uh, not all that much. Double Forge going to go down. Old school follow-up here for the Protoss players. Up at 51 probes. And the Blink Stalker is going to look to control for a little bit here. And take out one Marine. Two Marines. Good focus fire from the Protoss. Oh. Yeah, gets a third Marine. Doesn't quite get that fourth one. There. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he is target firing. But loses a lot of shields there. He's going to have to pull back and just chill out for a minute. And uh, wait for that to regenerate. Another hallucination going across. That's interesting. He's got an observer, so I don't think he really needs that. That Widow Mine actually could get shot from the low ground, as could those Marines if the observer moves forward. 58 probes, though. Really sick economy for the Protoss player. And uh, yeah, just putting down more pylons. I imagine we're going to see a gateway explosion soon. Oh, a few Marines dally out. Bad choice. Oh, what are these medevacs doing to boost up? Why are they up there? That doesn't make sense. You need more Marines up here, buddy. Uh-oh. This Terran player's got to get his reinforcements up here. He's also only building one Marauder at a time. He keeps building Marines out of one of the Tech Lab barracks, which is a big mistake. These Stalkers just picking off units where they can. Oh, Terran, pull back from the ledge, mate. The Stalkers have more range than Marines. Search is trying to use Widow Mines to zone this out, but there's no, there's no reason to fight. Force the Protoss to blink on the high ground. He can't hit shit from the low ground. You can always float the command center back. Search here. Getting baited into the worst possible fight. Early on, it was that Hellion waving, hey, dickhead, hey, dickhead, look over here. This time, it's the Stalkers going, hey, hey, buddy, you want to come fight? You want to come fight? It's like, dude, dude, don't, don't, don't let him, don't let him have the fight that he wants. So, yeah, now that he's here, you can move forward and fight him. I mean, that command center can just fall back. There's no need for it to be there. Stim is finally done. At this point, though, you can see that cost efficiency has definitely gone really nicely for the Protoss player who's gone into 1-1 upgrades. And is that nine more gateways, guys? Who the fudge builds nine more gateways? <laughs> okay, so it's going to be a 12-gate Protoss. This is disgusting. So I, I always talk about how the scariest Protoss players are the really low-level players who know how to just build a billion probes and just make a billion gates and A-move zealots at multiple places at once. Where I'm like, oh shit, I need to like stim and stutter step to beat these units. And, and, and they're just like, well, I have four bases and I make zealots. In this case, though, it is pure blink stalker right now. Oh, oh, derpy micro, derpy micro. It's got to be, oh, 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 you got to get out of there. Starting to lose too many stalkers now. But that's not quite finished. Needs a few more seconds. Just remember, though, every time you pull back like this, you are baiting stims out of the, the Terran. I think, oh man, he's he's staying way too far forward, though. Way too far. The stalkers are getting ravaged, guys. Oh my god, he's getting his ass kicked. He's trying to do some sick blink control. Got his, his shit kicked in. Whoa, whoa, why are we still here, Search? Search, you've lost your units. You need to go home, mate. I think he had a chance to get out of here. But now Search massively over committing. Oh, bam. I do think Search... Get up. Go home! Why are you still here, Search? It's fucking... There's like 15 Stalkers against four Marines. He's like, yeah, this, they keep intimidating you. Go home! You psychopath! He's got a lot of bio, but he just... You've got to build the counter. Bio is so good if you get enough medevacs and enough of it together. But, oh, no! Medevacs in the open! Oh man, he loses one medevac, doesn't lose anymore. And actually, the stalkers do come a little bit deep. Oh, huge widow mine hits as well. Vikings even landing. I mean, this is actually really, really just scrappy, down and dirty. And oh my god, does dodge that widow mine, but another one goes off. This is so silly. Thankfully, the Protoss has 72 probes. I feel like, I guess if he made zealots, he could have won a while ago. Instead, he's trying to do this with pure stalker, and it is one of the most grossly inefficient passing wannabe moments I've ever seen in my life. Um, this is a... <laughs> this is...
<laughs> Recycling's harder than it looks, guys. It's harder than it looks. Once the fight starts going well, it'll be good. But he's lost his observer. Now he can't clear up the widow mines. Okay, he's got another one coming in. Go, go, play, play, play. Good. Okay, he's doing great dodges on the widow mines, but the Terran has been more efficient. It's so funny though, because the Terran is still trying to force his way through a Protoss who is on mass stalker. And it's like, this is one of the most dangerous scenarios because if you ever don't quite have enough units, those stalkers will just overrun so efficiently due to their, their flexibility with the blink micro. Another observer falls. <laughs> so search is up to five racks production. Is only on 1-1 one, one, though. That's a problem. So no 2-2 two, two started up against a 2-2 two, two halfway done for Protoss. So the Widow Mines, they've actually been doing kind of better than they, they really should against Pure Blink Stalker. Fourth base is landing though. Terran is like just got such a better composition here. But oh, not looking. Couple couple decent Widow Mine shots there. Observer does come forward though. So guys, it's going to be I'm going to win with Pure Blink Stalker or die trying, you know. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it just baits the stim, falls back. You can just keep doing stuff like that as much as you want. But is it just still... Yep. Yep, just stalkers. Sure. What we are seeing is the height of big brain PVT, guys. Just blink stalkers trying to make it happen. And uh, the bio is going to stim on that. Mm, not the best angling from Red John here. But I think he might just have enough stalkers, man. Medivac healing is good and all. There's just not that much bio. The stim runs out. The Widow Mines and the Lib aren't taking part in this fight. Search just keeps on stimming forward into these units. The Widow Mines always the one saving grace, though, that seems to keep the Medivacs alive, right? That always seems to be like the one thing. Oh, that Observer. Good micro. Pulls the Observer back there. Search desperately needs to get that bio up. <clears throat> Man. If, if you just get a big enough bio army, your your higher damage output means you will scale really well. But with 3-3 three, three on the way, no 2-2 two, two started. I mean, there, there is a point where technically Blink Stalkers aren't the worst thing in the world. If you're on 3-3 three, three and they're only on 2-2, two, two, that can be kind of rough for the Terran player. So this, I, I think, seems to be the Blink Stalker challenge. I like it because he's like, oh, I'm being efficient. I'm recycling my units. And I'm like, well, I get it. You are blinking back the weak ones. The funny thing is they're dying six seconds later when the bio crashes through the entire army anyway. Now we do have a Widow Mind drop thinking of dropping, but look at this. He's doing two-pronged blink pressure as if he's playing against like carriers or something. This is what you do when you're playing against someone who's like really immobile. You start doing these little blink stalker run buys. Blink out, blink out. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those guys going to run away. He's going to try to lure the army down here. It looks like his whole force coming down. Ooh, couple of big, big Widow Mind drops. <clears throat> Stalkers try to take one for the team. They also shoot their own Nexus, which is kind of funny. It looks like another SCV is moving up to the top left for some reason. That Medivac just being distracting here. Stalkers, 2-2 two, two versus 1-1. 2-2's one, one. Two, now started for the Terran. If Search can just... Oh my god, stop running out! This Terran player is the most suicidal psychopath I've ever seen in my life. He's like, yeah, into the concave. <laughs> Have you not listened to the words of Tasteless? God damn it. <laughs> oh man, I think I feel like the Terran just keeps fighting right before he has like critical mass and keeps taking these kind of bad angles, right? You really gotta make sure you have enough enough bio together so that the 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 first couple of volleys where the stalkers are all blinking back and surviving and pulling back the weak ones. You gotta get through that to the point where all the stalkers are, are wounded. And if you've still got enough firepower at that point, they will all crumble very quickly. The Liberator here does provide a decent bit of coverage, but man, that's a lot of Marauders. I think I think the Stalkers are bruised enough. This is a good fight for Search now. Search is going to come through just before the 3-3 three, three finishes. These Stalkers trying to blink back, but oh my god, they're so fragile, man. Marauders are so good versus Stalkers. And our Protoss player, Red John, with his Blink Stalker challenge, is finally going to say, I should probably make some Immortals. There's a lot of Marauders. <laughs> yeah, you think? No, Search, why do you keep attacking? <laughs> this player is shown he's gonna do nothing but blink stalkers all game. It's like playing at someone on mass roach. Like there's no need to push. You just need to chill. <laughs> but he's dead. he still wins. Every time he pulls back and and the stalker's attacking him, he wins. He's just gotta like build that unit count up. If he can wait for 2-2, two, two, that's gonna be big. Right now it's 3-3 three, three versus 1-1. One, one. If Protoss can fight right now in the next 20 seconds, it's going to be like massively in his favor. I don't think it's going to happen though. Looks like 2-2 is going to kick in. There's a fifth base going up for Terran. I, I think if Terran hangs on any longer and there's no splash damage on the way, 
This silly mass blink play is not going to work, guys. This is <laughs> so cost inefficient. It is actually insane. Uh, these stalkers cost so much, man. There's not many marines in here as well, so zealots would have actually been amazing at almost any point in this game. EMP on the immortal. And there's a lot of stalkers up on the top of the map. They are counterattacking, but the planetary with its hilarious skin is going to shoot its little Ibex cannon and scare those stalkers off. And Search here gets in and says, uh, mate, pure Blink Stalker versus Mass Player. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of stalkers, though. Is Search overcommitted again? Search has continually overcommitted. You need to get out of there, dude. There's like 70 stalkers falling in on your position. Oh, he's the one who's going to pick the fight. He should be the one who's afraid. He's getting surrounded right now. There's so many stalkers. Oh, Search. This player has no fear, man. Search has no fear. And unfortunately, fear does exist for a good reason, guys. It may feel debilitating. It may feel painful. But uh, there's a reason why when you see 70 stalkers coming at you, filling three screens, you do normally run the other way, get back to a good position. Uh, he's lost all of his bio again, man. If he can just keep his bio up and heal up between these fights and reinforce, I don't think he, he'd be able to lose. He's also building four ghosts at a time. Ghosts, the EMPs are good, but they're not going to do nearly as much damage as Marauders against the Stalkers. So Marauders are actually the unit you want right now. Six Marauders building at a time. That's a little bit better. If he can just hang on, he's got a sixth base finishing up on the bottom as well. It's still Mass Blink Stalker. Shields is going to finish. Plus one goddamn Shields. This Protoss player wants to win in the silliest way possible. He's got 2,000 gas, by the way. So at any point, he could just make a ton of Archons or Storm. Has not decided to just yet, though. And that's a goodbye Command Center. Bye. Don't go... Oh my god, search once again. Just zero fear. Always headbutts. This player is an absolute psychopath, guys. I'm telling you, man. This is something I've noticed more and more. I think we're entering the um, the the macro phase of Terran history. When people look at 2020, they're going to say, everybody wanted to be Big Gabe. Every single Terran player on the ladder, no matter their level, wanted to just make lots of stuff and then just fucking, like, march across the map indiscriminately. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I think maybe you should pick a better fight, mate. Ah, uh, that was good. He had a spread there. Had a, had a good spready, but Stalker's gonna come in. The Ibex Cannon says, get the fuck out of here. I don't think he has high-sec auto-tracking, though. So, yeah, it's only a six-range planetary. Stalker's gonna be annoying up there. Um, oh, they are engaging the planetary again. Look at its little gun go. Look at its little cannons. It's got its little cannons. I love that. That thing looks so funny. All right, I think this is a big enough army. I think, I think Terran can finally close this game out. Uh, as I say, that 12 stalkers warp in, because why not? This is so silly, man. There's stalkers on both sides. So Actually, the, the medevac count isn't that high. If the stalkers just keep baiting stem and disengaging, I think they can probably win. He's trying to micro on two screens at once, is Red John. I kind of like it. He's cut this army off now. Yeah, yeah, and look, they're almost out of energy. So if he can if he can bait one or two more stims out, this army will kill itself. Just use the mobility. Oh, don't get caught. Uh-oh, Red John's fudged. These stalkers are trapped, guys. Oh, that's a good recall. Loses only one stalker. Recalls out. Nicely done. Red John buys himself a bit of time. These stalkers still being annoying as all hell. There's a lot of money in the bank for the Terran, but he's got his 3-3 on the way, and that... I mean, that's, that's crazy. Like, once 3-3 kicks in, you can't possibly lose a fight, right? No splash damage. Yes, plus two shields will be done. But most importantly, plus three attack, plus three armor. Protoss really needs new bases as well, by the way. These stalkers are going to get stimmed down. They do end up falling. New base down here in the bottom as well, floating down. This stalker says, get off my watchtower, dickhead. Blah. So... What is the Protoss plan? Run around with Blink Stalkers and hope the Terran shits the bed? I mean, you gotta make Disruptors or something, surely, right? I feel like you add two Disruptors here, and I'm, like, loving it for Protoss again. As long as there's no Splash, though. I mean, I guess you can just keep doing maneuvers like that. <laughs> runs in, just kills it, kills the Command Zero, just runs away. I'm like, okay, yeah, that works. More Stalkers coming in on the top as well. The Stalkers here taking a bit of a weird fight. It's not a oh, what are we doing? You, what the? Oh my god. He actually had the numbers to win that fight. He just blinks on top like a psychopath. The stalker's on the top. Oh my god, he didn't repair! He didn't repair the planetary. The stalker's just killed the planetary. No. 
<laughs> How bad is this turn gonna feel if he loses this game? Oh, this is so dumb. Oh my god. Okay, so... I mean, Protoss is about to lose all their income, and all they have is Stalkers, right? I think Search just needs to get his rally together with the SCVs. He's just got to keep his rally together. Like, there's just this power to getting enough bio all combined. These medevacs are out of energy. <gasps> the medevacs are out of energy. And a casual 45 Stalkers, just 49, sorry, are just coming down here. What the? Look at that army of Stalkers. Tell me that isn't the funniest thing you've ever... There's even... Oh my God, there's even more there. There is nothing efficient about this at all, but it is the most punishing, stupid way of winning the game. As a Terran, you're going to be so mad, right? You're just like, this guy just killed me with 50 Blink Stalkers, and you're like, yes. <laughs> Did I have the counter to it? Yes. <laughs> Did I take 16 bad fights consecutively because I kept overextending into an early game composition? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like if at one point Search figured out that there was actually an elastic strip in the top of his pants and managed to tuck himself in and just contain himself for a moment, I think he would have been able to hang on and win this game, but turns out it's a mystery. Just goes full mast, walking around, uh, announcing his bio comp to everyone. If he just waited to max, I do think, I do think he wins this game, but uh, a, a few overextensions there. We do see a ridiculous... Units lost tab. 4,000 in favor of the Terran. And uh, these Blink Stalkers. Oh my. Are they just going to run? They are there. Okay, they're, they're going to run on out of there. Terran reestablishes a composition here. Remember, he's got 3-3 three, three now, guys. That last fight was before 3-3. Three, three, the one where he blinked on his units down there. That was all just before 3-3. Three, three. So, Protoss is reestablishing a Nexus here, a Nexus here. Trying to get more units up. And is that... Oh my god. Plus 3 Plasma Shields. My man, my man. So, yeah, we're just gonna just gonna make more stalkers. Cool. Um, why are we still building widow mines? I mean, I guess they're not the worst thing in the world, but. I don't know, man. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this Terran's been a bit too much on autopilot all game long, you know? I just want to see a billion Marines and Marauders and just wait till max until the next fight happens, right? If the Terran maxes out and takes the cohesive engagement, like, there's nothing Protoss can do, but Protoss is just running around going, hey, picks off a command center, runs away, picks off a few units, runs away, and the Terran just keeps getting overeager and stimming, like, three times in a row to try and chase the Protoss down. And it's, um, it's adding up, right? It's really adding up. If Terran can just chill, still build, he's building sensor towers. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, six pros building at a time. So Protoss is going to rebuild the economy here, 22 minutes into this absolute shit show of a game. I mean, what, what do you guys think? I, I feel like as Terran, you just max out on bio, land your EMPs, you cannot lose. And already you're up 20 army supply. This has got to be a loss for the Protoss. Right? Like, I thought Terran had thrown, but now that he's had time to recover his army. Turns out Blinkstalk is pretty bad at finishing the game. Who knew? Well, those units go down. As we see, ghosts do almost no damage. Hey, <laughs> he hot picks up the ghost. <laughs> Stalk is like, oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, these armies just standing off looking at each other. Three, three, three. Oh, I think he's going to stim on it. So much damage that comes out of that bio force. There's something so satisfying about stalkers going down, man. They are not a cheap unit. Oh god. Oh god. This is looking pretty good for Terran, guys. Oh my god. Another big blink stalker run by happening. As Terran, I would probably just pull back and just keep cleaning these armies up. Because he's on top of your production now. Oh, he's starting to rally in. Oh, he's starting to just, like, trickle in a little bit. You gotta, you gotta gather, Search. Search, Search, you gotta gather, mate. <laughs> oh, shit. I think Search might be... Yeah, he's getting his units caught a little bit more than he needs to here. And everything from the rally is getting picked off. 
Yes, I think re-rallied to the main. So he will, okay, he will get some more units out and start to gather up some defenses in the main eventually. It's going to take a little while though. Uh, yes, we just saw 14 Blink Stalkers warped in at once, guys. That is the nature of this game. It's what we call an absolute shit show. Oh no, three medevacs. <gasps> oh, that's big. That's big. That's big. Oh no, he's losing. You can't lose all your medevacs, mate. Okay, there we go. He does keep a bunch of them alive. Six medevacs. That should be enough. This command center, those SCVs going to go down. Um, I mean, this still looks advantaged for Terran, but I feel like the base trade favors the Protoss. Got to take out those assimilators. So good value targeting there. And uh, look at this. Just trying to buy time. Red John just being a cheeky dickhead. That command center won't be able to survive. There is still mining going on up here. Not that much. Protoss, though, has mining there and mining there. <clears throat> but the production of Protoss will go down here. Do you think he caves and stops mono battling at some point, guys? Or nah? He's like, there's no such thing as a more efficient unit than a stalker. Stalker should the best unit in the game. He's trying to just be annoying from this low ground and just trying to buy time, right? Trying to trying to kind of pick units off. These Widow Mines actually have been doing an awesome job whenever he's not looking, but the stalkers are now in on top of everything. There's enough buyer to kill these stalkers, though. So I really would love to see Search actually start to... Yeah, yeah, he's floating that command center away. I'd love to see this Bayou come down and just clean those Stalkers off. Uh, he's just got to be patient with Stim. At this point in the game, you actually want to be really sparing in your Stim usage. Like here, Stimming there and then not microing to make advantage of it. Big mistake. Probably could have killed most of those Stalkers, but they all got stuck behind each other on the ramp. SCVs running away in circles around this map. Kind of random Stalker squad there. Big squad there. And uh, there's still bases mining. There's still gateways up. Only two. I don't think there's a cyber core. Stalkers here. Gonna try and take out at least some of these SCVs. Why are we running this way? Oh, Red John wants to actually fight. He actually is setting up a giant concave. He actually wants to commit. I would never be brave enough to do that against Stim Bio, but I guess when you have 400 stalkers, maybe it's okay? My head hurts. The Terran players out there. Ah. He's got another army? I think he, he still has a chance. He still has a chance. Problem is he doesn't have mining and there's still Protoss mining. Protoss is rebuilding a cyber core, can rebuild gateways, he's got plenty of money and stuff. So the longer this goes, the Protoss will get more value and Blink Stalkers are so flexible. If they even snipe one or two medevacs, oh, one medevac goes down. And then, yeah, oh, okay, he will lose a Stalker for it. No, nope, that Stalker actually gets out. This one might go down there. Nope. Oh man, this is this is real nasty for Search, man. I mean, Search has got just one command center left, right? Search, I think, should pull every SCV even and maybe and just, just basically has to commit here. And you see, this looks good. You stim, you kill some stalkers. A little slow on the blink there. Red John, what are you doing? You gotta use use blink here, mate. Oh, he's pulling his probes. <laughs> Pull the boys. Oh, man. Bio is very good at killing probes. I, I think the Terran has this. No, maybe. Yes. Oh, my God. You're fucking kidding me. And he just leaves. I think this was important. So for those who just tuned in, this was the recycling challenge. It was about being efficient. There is a path where Mass Stalker is grossly efficient, where you fight early enough and you keep fighting and you keep doing good enough blink control and you disengage when it's a bad fight to the point where it is just, you're never losing a unit. You're really tactical. It's beautiful and amazing, right? This here was not that. What we saw was a guy try to do this this was one of those videos of those guys who tries to do a backflip and then like sl into the pool but like he slams into the side of the pool that's essentially what this game was so i believe this was actually eon blue guys this protoss player he says dude you're telling me 30 minutes of stalkers isn't good well it might be if you didn't take such shit fights eon blue what the hell man <laughs> 
<laughs> Honestly, though, um, this is this is. So I, I believe apparently there was a point around 20 minutes in this game where Eon Blue got his his screen turned black while he was playing the game. You were saying in chat. Oh, this is it. This is it. So his screen's turned black. Oh, he's so lucky that a fight didn't start at this point. If he didn't have a massive army, so his screen cut out. You know you can hit the pause button on your keyboard. Yeah, on blue. Even if your screen's black, it'll still pause the game. You can still hit enter and go PP. Why didn't you do that? I'm very curious. You know there's a pause break button on the keyboard, right? A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people still go F10 and then they try to click pause in a ladder game. And I'm like, just, you know there's a pause break button on your keyboard, right? Plox is, uh, it's because he's a man. Questionable. GG, thank you very much, guys, for watching that absolute disgusting travesty. Uh, that was the worst game I've ever seen. That was... Ooh. <laughs> thank you for that disgusting game. GG, well played. That was like half an hour of non-stop Stalkers vs. Bio. And I'll tell you what, we don't get to see a game like that very often, and... There is something awesome about seeing stalkers come from like three screens and surround a bio army. That was actually kind of amazing. And I bet it was bloody fun just clicking the stalkers back, right? Like, I think that would have been so much fun in those fights where he's trying to blink back stalkers on three different sides at once. Amazing. GG, well played, mate. Amblu says the worst game. Did you see game two? <laughs> they were all the worst games. Yours, you get you get rated on a different scale, Leon Blue. When you're playing at 4.5 to 5k, even if it's your off race, you, you're like, oh, game two was worse. I'm like, no, it was not. For a gold league game, trust me, it was better. <laughs> no, nah, I reckon that was fun, dude. Yeah, you had fun trying to blink your heart out? I bet you did, dude. That would have been so cool. I um I enjoy a style like